Hello everybody, uh, this is Johnny here, this is uh, a video about my uh, Still Spirits Turbo 500 my third time distilling and now distilling is in process um, as you can see there are a few modifications on it some tubes and wires and uh, Arduino board and radiator with a water pump cooling fan behind okay uh, it's all automatic let me tell you what I've done so basically I wanted uh, every, uh, the process to be automatic so I just uh, didn't want to be next to it when the distilling is happening I didn't want to worry about what's going on so I came up with an idea I said well let's reuse the water instead of connecting it to a tap let's reuse the water make it as a closed circuit circuit water uh, cooling system so okay so let me show you what I've done so okay this thing is in process the temperature of the outflow is as you can see about 63 64 percent um, degree Celsius degree Celsius and that is what I want because I'm producing sp uh, alcohol for burning and not for uh, consuming okay so this is what I've done so uh, this is the outflow as you can see there is a sensor and this sensor is connected to an Arduino board and inside there is a temperature sensor board and a motor controller board the motor controller basically is to adjust the speed of the pump which will pump in water to the system and that will adjust the temperature so more water coming in temperature is less less water coming in temperature is high so this the temperature sensor gives data to the Arduinos the Arduinos control the water pump and the water pump is now it's in here it's in action it is working and it's pumping as you can see it's up and down you can hear the uh, the RPM going up and down depending on the temperature it's all controlled now here is the uh, the cooling radiator and behind it is the cooling fan you cannot see the cooling fan but there it is now what happens is the water that comes out from the uh, distiller it is the if we can show you yeah you can see the water is coming down and the other tube is taking the water up and it forces it into the radiator the radiator cools it and it will send it back to the uh, another radiator and it will cool it an extra 10 degrees and send it in and yeah the process starts all over again so everything is automatic temperature is will be the same and all is done by the Arduino and the temperature sensor okay let's uh, see what's the temperatures where is my thermometer sorry for the mess it's a bit messy I don't like mess but sometimes when I'm working on project everything becomes so messy 
All right, what a thermometer. Hmm, let's see, where are you? Okay, well, I'm sorry, can't find my thermometer, it was here. So I will uh, just explain you a little bit. So, the water here is really hot, it's really hot. It is hot, I cannot catch it more than a few seconds, it really burns. So it will be sent in the radiator through this and then it will go out cool at the other side it's warm but it's not as and then it will go back again it will go in here and then in here yep here it's you can see it's tap water somehow a bit less which is uh, yeah drinkable water temperature i would say around uh, 32 degrees Last time I measured it, this was 32 degrees, this was, it was an 8 degrees difference between this and that. So this here is cooling 8 to 10 degrees sometimes. And this big boy is cooling around, I would say, 11, 12 degrees at least. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to share with you uh, details, so just let me know. Just to say that having the bottle here is not that important. So what I can do is I can atta attach these hoses together so it will be a loop. So I don't need this, but I put it there just sometimes I had air bubbles and they didn't go uh, straight, needed some times. But now I think it's gone, but you don't need that one, but it's good sometimes if you have air bubbles in the system which you don't want that okay yes I forgot one final thing this is a motor controller it's a manual one just to adjust the speed of the radiator of the fan of the radiator which I really don't really play with but it's good to have it here just in case any emergency I need uh, more probably more cooling maybe the pump uh, reached its limit and then I can switch this more, it will cool more and the pump will work less.